Our next topic in the heavy weather unit is to talk about drag devices. Drag devices are frequently misunderstood, but they are a very, very valuable tactic when used in heavy conditions. And we are so fortunate to have Zach Smith from Fiorentino, who's going to talk to us about both sea anchors and drogues. Zach is a real expert in this. He's been in the industry over 25 years testing and designing drogues and sea anchors for a variety of craft, including commercial vessels, military vessels, research vessels, and probably more appropriate for us, recreational vessels. So thank you, Zach, for being here. Yeah, great, thank you. There are three types of drag devices we can choose from to help stabilize our boat when the weather becomes rougher. We have speed limiting drogues, a stopping drogue, or parachute sea anchor to choose from. Speed limiting drogues can come in a variety of forms. They're usually a single canopy, either made with a solid canopy or an open weave type canopy which permits water to flow through the drogues themselves. Uh, both actually perform very similar, uh, meaning that they're going to track right behind your boat because that's what we do. We deploy speed limiting, speed limiting drogues behind our boat in an effort to help slow our boat down when we're running in heavy weather because what can happen is if you're racing down a wave very quickly, you can end up burying your bow, which can cause broaching or what's also known as uh, pitch pulling. Basically, the boat will start to spin sideways, allowing other ways to catch up and kind of pound your boat a little bit. But if we have a drogue deployed, I'm, I'm sure we can alleviate those kind of uh, issues. There's also another type of drogue referred to as a stopping drogue or series drogue. It's basically a long length of road with many cones woven into it to help dramatically slow your vessel, but it's more of a passive tactic where you go down below and you wait out the storm with the stern uh, presented to the seas. So you don't actively steer the boat like you would with a speed limiting drogue. You always have to have a helms person or a wind vane if you're a long distance cruiser to help steer your boat in, in those particular uh, circumstances. A parachute sea anchor typically is going to be used because let's say your entire uh, crew is seasick, you have some kind of mishap where the mast might be broken, things are out of control and you just need to stop the motion of your boat. This is deployed from the bow of your boat and the wind will help push your boat backwards so as this parachute sinks underwater, it will grab a lot of water, dramatically slowing your boat. And you're looking at about a half a knot to a nautical mile of drift every hour versus nine or 10 nautical miles of drift if you're lying a hole. And when you're lying a hole, you're gonna end up sideways to the waves, which is very uncomfortable comfortable uh, position uh, to be in. Now that we talked about the different types of storm drogues and parachute sea anchors, how do we connect them to our boats and what, what kind of roads do we use and, and do we add chain weight and things like that to help improve performance? Well for storm drogues or the parachute sea anchor itself, we typically use standard anchor road. Normally the diameter is going to be 5 8 inch, sometimes we'll have it as large as 3 quarter inch depending on the size of, uh, of your vessel. For stored drogues, I typically like to deploy about 300 feet of road. That will normally handle most uh, heavy weather situations. Now attached to that road will be a bridle. It's going to be two short roads that will run up to your port and starboard side of, of your vessel so they can be secured to winches, which permits you to make adjustments when you're, when you're running in, in, in heavy weather. Now if you want to improve the performance of a storm drogue, and each, each manufacturer of this equipment may have different ideas on how much weight to add to the equipment, uh, I, I typically just add 10 pounds to a speed limiting drogue because it helps sink the drogue a little bit and it removes any potential slack rope uh, in the system. When it comes to your bridles, I like to keep them as short as possible. Uh, on some of the Beneteau sailboats uh, that I've sailed on before, I've had them as short as 10 feet and some of the full keeled vessels the length have been as, as much as 40 feet. The idea of having a shorter bridle is to make sure I don't end up with too much slack in the system because if I get too much slack on one side uh, then all the loading goes to one side of the boat and I start to spin out a little bit. So keep the bridle short and that'll make it make it uh, perform much better. We use the exact same anchor roads uh, for the parachute sea anchor. The difference is I normally carry 10 feet of rope for every foot of boat. So if I have a 40 foot boat I'm, I'm usually going to carry about 400 feet of road. Under most circumstances, I normally only deploy about 250 in storm force conditions. So we're talking about 25 to 40 foot seas. Hopefully, uh, most of you will avoid those uh, kind of conditions. But that's normally what I deploy. If I'm deploying 400 feet of rope every time I use a parachute sinker, I'm going to add about 10 pounds of weight. What the weight does is sink when there's any slack in the rope, which keeps your parachute canopy inflated. So that's another way of avoiding uh, shock loading. Uh, an easy way of deploying the parachute anchor simply just go head to wind. 
And then in a pinch, you can always kick your engine in reverse a little bit so you maintain that station. Another option is to deploy a bridle, which is a very short road with a snatch block at the end of it. We refer to it as a, as a pendant line. That's attached to the road after the parachute's already deployed. And as your boat swings to windward, we crank in on that rope, which is attached to a primary winch in your cockpit. And you will end up in a hove to position, which is about 40 to 45 degrees off the wind. This is the best way of, of stabilizing your boat. Those are the two options you, you have with the parachute sea anchor. Uh, the stopping drogue, the service drogue, really comes in set lengths of rope, anywhere from 250 to maybe even 500 feet uh, of road. And, and the Coast Guard recommends that you deploy about 35 to 50 pounds of weight with that particular device to avoid the slack rope issue that I've been referring to. Let's talk about retrieving storm drogues. The speed limiting drogue and the stopping drogue are both recovered in the same manner. As a reminder, we have a bridle that's attached to both the port and starboard side of the vessel. So on the windward side, I always slacken that bridle leg so I can move it over to the lee side of the boat, creating one single road. It's just easier to handle one rope versus two ropes in the water. Then when it's safe, I go ahead and turn the boat on the lee side of the anchor road leading out to the speed limiting drogue, and of course the stopping drogue has a whole bunch of woven cones in it, but the reason for recovering on the lee side of the road is it, it, in case a wave or wind pushes your boat, it will push you away from all the lines that, that are in the water. Then you can go ahead and pull everything in hand over hand, and once you, uh, reach, once you uh, get to the point where you have a single road, you can go ahead and wrap that round uh, a winch and recover it. Uh, that way. For parachute sea anchors, recovery is per a trip line that's attached to the apex of the parachute canopy. This is the small opening on, on the back of the, uh, of the parachute. It's typically a 50 to 100 foot long uh, polypropylene line, uh, a, a floating rope, and we have a boat fender attached to the bitter end of that. So all we're going to do is motor towards that float, we're going to collect the anchor uh, rope slack on, onto deck, and as we get close to the trip line, we'll boat hook it. And the moment you boat hook that, you pull that, that line in, hand over end, uh, that, that parachute will spin around and collapse like an umbrella, and, and making it much easier to bring on board. Storm drogues and parachute sea anchors really are excellent tools for stabilizing your boat in heavy seas. But it really is a good idea to go out and practice using this equipment in calm seas. I really think you'll be surprised at how well it really does perform.